Hello, I am Becky Parham slash Sarah Parham. I am a premier leader from Canal Winchester, Ohio, which is just southeast of the capital of Ohio, which is Columbus, Ohio. I have been with Perfectly Posh since March of 2020, think pandemic. And I'm here to talk to you today about the importance of having new customers continually for your business. Now, I know we all want to rely on our VIP groups, but you need that as like your customer base and to help you get started. But your VIP group isn't going to order from you every single month, correct? So you need parties. You need parties to get more customers. It's your bread and butter. There are other ways to do it, but we're going to go over those, okay? With parties, you know, after you're midway through your party, start asking, you know, making a post for um, hostesses. I also reach out to the people who seem the most interested that um, comment on my posts the most during a party. I will just reach out to them, say hello, tell them a little bit about Posh, you know, especially if they asked for samples and or ordered, they seem to have more interest, correct? So those are the people I usually ask first for a party, but you would be so surprised at the people that you would have never thought would have a party that will have a party for you. So just make sure that you ask, ask everyone. I know it's really scary at first, but the worst they can tell you is no, right? Sometimes I get 20 no's before I get a yes. So you just have to keep pushing to get new parties and then you get new customers out of the parties. So during the parties, I also post a link to my VIP group and ask members of the party to join my VIP group for more fun games and skincare tips after the party ends. So there, that way I grow my VIP group, okay? Also, I do a lot of follow-up but that's not what we're talking about here. We're talking about new customers, correct? So what are some other ways that we can get new customers? Well, I'm going to say leads from Posh. So if you have Posh Pro, you get leads every month. If you don't know where to find those, just ask your upline. They'll be happy to help you find those. And then you can write an email to those people. Um, the leads are from people that used to be consultants that aren't anymore. So these customers don't have a consultant. So you can reach out and just introduce yourself, ask if they'd like to try new samples. That's what I do. I usually throw candy in with it because people love candy. And, um, you know, it's also spoiling your customers, but it makes it more memorable for them so they can you know, have some fun dip while they're doing a face mask. Who doesn't love that? I mean, come on, I do. So another way to get new customers is to hand out samples. That's right, the old fashioned way. You guys, it's so important. You can go to the post office, the grocery store, your kids' teachers, PTA meetings, book club, Bible study. There's a million different places. You should always have a few sample packs on you, on your person, maybe in your bag or in your glove box of your car. That way you can hand them out and give them all the information. I usually carry a couple catalogs along. Um, sometimes, you know, some people are, you know, not as computer savvy and they may just want a paper catalog. So I will give them a paper catalog and samples, right? But I want to tell you a little story now I sound like Pat. I've got a story for you. So um, when I went to Cabo last January, I met a lady and her husband in the pool and I gave her samples and she's now my customer. <sighs> what? But wait, there's more. I was in Hawaii just last week and there was a group of us posh girls on the elevator and there was a girl, I don't know, around 25 holding a six month old and everybody's getting on and off the elevators on all these different floors. And they're like, hi, oh my gosh, you know, hugging each other. I love you, I miss you, all the things. 
And this girl looks at me baffled. She's like, there's so many of you. Are you guys all together? And I'm like, oh my gosh. So I chatted her up for like 30 seconds and told her Posh is like a big family and how wonderfully they treat us. But most importantly, how great our products are, that they're naturally based, cruelty-free, Leaping Bunny certified, made in the USA, and how my skin's never been better. So I asked her, I said, I don't want to be a creep, but I'm gonna, no, I'm kidding. But I'm like, you know, can I come by your room and bring you samples? I don't mean to startle you. I can leave them at the door or I can just knock and hand them to you. She said, sure, my room's 1824. Bring me the samples. So I did. I went to my room, got the samples and a catalog with a little thing that says, that's me on the front with an arrow because I'm corny like that, right? So I knock on her door. Her name's Mandy. So I was like, hey, Mandy, here's the samples that I was telling you about. You know, um, when you get back home, give them a try. You know, let's see how you like them. So I put her on my calendar to contact this week to see how she liked the samples. Because I didn't want to contact her too soon because I didn't want to seem too pushy, right? Lo and behold, friends, lo and behold, I wake up Tuesday morning to a $120 order from Miss Mandy that I met in Hawaii that lives in San Diego. Guess what else? She has friends coming this weekend. So she asked me if I could send samples to give to her friends that are coming to visit her. So I UPS samples to them. You know why? Because she said BFF and 911 are a game changer. She's going to tell all of her friend. So I may, out of that one interaction originally in Hawaii, I may get four or five new customers out of it. Maybe even two. But heck, I'm grateful for the one, right? So you just cannot be afraid to talk to people. You have to speak to people. And, you know, I usually pick the people, like, you're walking, like, through a parking lot or whatever, and you've got the person that's walking along and looks really sad. Those are the people I talk to. I'm like, hi, good morning, you know, and I try to interact with them. Love your shoes. Nice shirt, whatever. And I start interacting with them, and maybe it sounds creepy, but I give them some samples, and it usually makes their day. So that is another way to get new customers. Let's see what else. So of course you've got to get the posh on the people for them to, you know, like it because they have to try it. Um, you know, the best one, even if, if you don't have a lot of samples, carry around some um, hand, of our hand cream samples. Those are easy peasy. You can just give them one. You know, everyone says that our hand creams are gateway posh. And they are because we all know they're made with apricot kernel oil and they're non-greasy. So that's fantastic. Also, friend referrals. You can ask people in your VIP group to refer their friends. Or you could say, hey, who wants to pamper their friends? If you send me their address, I'll send them out a sample pack from you and tell them that you were thinking of them. And you can write a little note card and slip it in there and say, Hi, I'm Becky Parham from Perfectly Posh. Your friend, Elisa Mitchell, I'm making up a name. Uh, if that's a coincidental name of someone else, sorry, I just made it up. Um, you know, your friend, Elisa Mitchell, said that you could use some pampering, and she wanted me to send this to you. Easy peasy, mail it out. You never know what could happen from that. So, you know, adding new customers will increase your sales. It'll increase your customer base. It will help you grow your VIP group. And new customers usually equals new parties because you can ask for new parties. And one more thing before I go. Um, yes, I was reading notes. This is my very first posh training, so hope it's okay. However, one more thing before I go. Maybe come up with some kind of like buy one, get one free, um, bring a friend to the group, buy one, get one free for like one day, you know, like be, you know, I'm having friendship Saturday or friendship Friday, friendship Friday. That would be even better. Um, just say, you know, if you invite a friend to the group and you make a purchase, 
of $20 or more or whatever your bottom line is before tax and shipping, then I will match what you buy. You know, if you spend $20, I'll give you a $20 item for free that you can give to a friend or keep for yourself. Things like that. So you have to be creative and think outside of the box. If um, you want to talk further, you're more than welcome to message me or um, friend me on Facebook. All of that is fine. I appreciate Pat giving me the opportunity to talk to everyone today. And that's it. Happy day. Go get them and get some sales. Bye.